Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to create some De Lobo outfits and the De Lobo gang consists mostly of Mexican outlaws, exiles and opportunists and you can meet the De Lobo gang down in New Austin but their headquarters is in Thieves Landing so in today's video we're going to create some Mexican style De Lobo outfits here in Red Dead Online so let's do this Let's kick this video off by recreating Alfredo Montes. And this guy is a major antagonist featured in Red Dead Online. And he's one of the leaders of the De Lobo gang together with his brother Jorge. So let's see if we can manage to put together Alfredo's outfit here. And we are gonna need a beige everyday shirt. And then we can open up the collar. And uh, let's give him a cartridge ring as well here. And some grey studded pants. And then we're going to need a black Levens gun belt. And let's add a brown embossed gunslinger holster. And then we can add this black Rex Road vest. And then we're gonna need a pair of brown Schaefer chaps. And a pair of brown worn ropers boots. And let's add a brown Higgins bandolier. And we can switch the shoulder here of the bandolier. And you can roll the sleeves if you want to, but uh, let's switch to the right shoulder. There we go. And then we can add a red trimmed bandana. And of course that big strong sombrero. And here we have Alfredo Montes outfit. And I think this looks amazing. This is one of the best uh, Mexican style outfits I've ever done on this channel, I think. But uh, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this Alfredo Montes outfit. And since we're doing the Lobo gang outfits in this video. I think we need to do Alfredo Montes brothers outfit here as well. Mr. Jorge Montes. And this is what he looks like. And you can hunt down Jorge Montes in the mission where your morals lead you. So let's see if we can put together his outfit here. We are gonna need this turquoise side collar shirt. And then we can add a black Lancer vest. And let's add a pair of dark grey Macron pants. And then we can add a woven pistol gun belt. And then we can add a brown Espinal double bandoliers. And let's check the boots here. I'm thinking a pair of black worn ropers boots and then we can modify the outfit and put the boots under the pants. And let's add a blue neckerchief. And I almost forgot about the holster here. Let's add a brown woven pistol holster. And here we have Jorge Montes. And I hope you guys remember that where your morals lead you mission in Red Dead Online. It's the mission where you team up with Tom Davis and the informant Lee to hunt down the De Lobo gang. And then Lee decapitates Jorge Montes with a knife, which was one of the most violent scenes in this game for sure. So let's leave Jorge for now, and the next character we're going to recreate here is Joaquin Arojo. And this guy is a bounty target featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's give him a red French dress shirt. And then we can add a black trimmed bandana. And uh, let's go with a pair of brown clerk pants. And we can add a green strung sombrero. And a black dead boot gun belt. And let's find some boots. The black one ropers boots. And we can add some gird and copper spurs as well. And here we have Joaquin Arojo. And as I briefly mentioned earlier, Joaquin Arojo is a member of the De Lobo gang and he's a bounty target featured in the single player campaign of Red Dead 2. And his wanted poster is located in the Tumbleweed Jail and the reward for his capture is 60 bucks. So let's go down to Thieves Landing and see if we can find a hat for the next outfit we're going to do here. And here we have some fine young gentlemen sitting down on the dock. And let's check the hats here. Oh, this one looks great. 
So I think we're gonna steal this hat from these dudes. So let's quickly take them out. Oh! <laughs> the other guy just fell into the water, nice. So let's pick up the hat and then we can go back to the wardrobe and make an outfit. With this hat as a base. So let's pick it up. There we go. And now we're back in the wardrobe here. And I'm thinking we should copy the style of this NPC. This guy is a De Lobo gang member. And uh, I think his style is pretty cool. And the hat is similar as well. So let's see if we can come up with something similar here. So we are gonna need a white everyday shirt. And then we can open up the collar. And let's add a black flores vest. Let's check the weapon equipment here. I'm thinking the yellow horsemanship gun belt. And then we can add the matching Espinal double bandoliers. And let's add the grey padded cell work pants. And some dark grey workman's boots. And we can add some beige western rider spurs as well. And here we have NPC number one. And I think this is a pretty cool outfit. I just wish that we could add more gun belts to our character. And I chose a double bandolier here, but uh, if you prefer a single bandolier, you can go with that instead. So, let's move on now. And the next outfit will also be inspired by an NPC. Because we're going to do this outfit right here. And uh, yeah, this guy looks like a real badass with that black leather jacket, so... Let's see if we can come up with something similar here. And uh, well, let's check the shirts here. And I'm thinking the light grey collar over shirt. And let's add the burgundy buckskin pants. And we can also go with the tobacco brown gunslinger gun belt. And then we can add the black preacher's pride boots. And we're going to need a black military jacket as well. And uh, let's go with a brown bolero hat. And we are going to need a brown Coburn bandolier. And well, I changed my mind with the boots here. Let's go with the black Comstock boots. And then we can add a black neckerchief as well. And here we have NPC number two. And even though we named this outfit number two, I still think this looks pretty cool. Actually, this turned out even better than I hoped for, so that's good. And now we need to move on here. And the next outfit we're going to do comes from a character called Esteban Cortez. And he's a minor character featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. And he's one of the leaders of the De Lobo gang. And he's wanted dead or alive by the Tumbleweed Sheriff for murdering lawmen. So let's put this outfit together here. And we can start with the grey studded pants. And then we can add a white everyday shirt and some brown burnham boots. And then we can add a gunslinger gun belt in brown and a black strung sombrero. And let's add a blue charro jacket. And here we have Esteban Cortez, one of the leaders of the De Lobo gang. And his brother Ramon Cortez is also in the gang. So we have two different brothers in the gang, the Montes and the Cortez brothers, which is kind of funny. And sorry for using this photo of Esteban, I just couldn't find a better one online, strangely enough. And now it's time to recreate everyone's favorite De Lobo gang member. And I'm of course talking about Flaco Hernandez, so we're gonna do his winter outfit now. And to do that we are going to need a grey union suit. Then we can add these woodland gloves. And a pair of black Burnham boots. And let's add the black military half chaps. And we can go with the black bandito pants here. And let's add a grey strung sombrero. And a black bison duster coat. And we are going to need the black Salizzo double bandoliers and the black embossed gunslinger gun belt. And here we have Flaco Hernandez and his winter outfit. And I think that Flaco Hernandez is one of the best dressed characters in the game. 
And even though his coat ain't available in Red Dead Online, I still think we did a pretty good job with this outfit. But as always, I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And hit that bell notification while you're at it, so you won't miss any of my future uploads. And I wanna remind you guys that I'm on Patreon now. And I've posted over 20 videos there that aren't available on YouTube or anywhere else really. So if you wanna support my channel and get early access to my character creator and outfit videos, you should check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash jimruthus. And feel free to check out my other social media links as well, links down in the description. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys further down the trail. Bye bye.